We're about to take you on a WA fisheries mission to catch and tag sharks off the coast of Esperance. It is dangerous and difficult work that's only carried out for a few weeks each summer. And local surfers say not enough is being done to protect them from predators. We've all seen pictures of great white sharks off WA, but never quite like this. We're up close and personal with the fisheries tagging team that spent the summer catching predators off Salisbury Island near Esperance. And when sharks are thrashing and trying to bite you, it takes courage to do this job. In a boat not much bigger than the sharks they're stalking, they hook a great white using drum lines. Once we catch the animals, we'll uh, roll them over, which essentially puts the animal to sleep. Then perform a makeshift surgery in the open ocean. Opening the belly with a small incision, they insert an acoustic tag used to alert authorities when that shark swims close to beacons. A satellite tag is also attached with a pin near the dorsal fin. Uh, we do a lactate test, which indicates stress levels. So that's really low. So she's not stressed not at all. And the predator is on its way, tracked and traced as it moves up and down the WA coast. Nine News was invited to the tagging expedition to see it all firsthand. Well, right now we're using pink snapper as bait and they're hooked on to these boys, which will stay out all day until we see a bit of movement. But the sharks do swim quickly, so we've got to be ready. And they were catching a record number of white pointers in a weekend, some as large as four metres. To get seven in over a weekend is amazing. We'll be able to tag two to three hundred sharks over the next five or six years. But that's still a small percentage of the predators off our coast. So far, just over 10% of the estimated 1,200 great whites in WA have been tagged using this method. And a $6 million smart drumline trial off Greystown has only caught two great whites in two years. After recent attacks in Esperance that claimed the lives of surfer Andrew Sharp and scuba diver Gary Johnson, locals want more done. They want a permanent fisheries team based in the Great Southern able to respond to sharks lingering near busy beaches. If fisheries can build capacity in Esperance and, be able, and anywhere really be able to respond um, immediately at that location then the chance of catching that problem shark is massive. But the state government argues tagging great whites isn't the primary purpose of the smart drum lines and it's not always possible to have a team within range of a significant shark sighting or detection. Instead they'll keep catching, tagging and releasing sharks to learn more about their behaviour and alert swimmers when they come too close. Lucy McLeod, Nine News.